Well, the East Pennsboro High School football team will be on first score Friday this week. That's right. CBS 21 sports director Jason Bristol live in the studio with the story of a player who won't make the highlights, but is still a very big part of the team. Jason, why is he so important? Well, you are right, Tanya. He is not a game changer by any means, but he has really defied the odds. Think about this for a second. When he was born, some doctors believed he wouldn't walk or talk. Once his spikes are done scraping the concrete, Patrick Lauer knows it's time for practice. He stretches, then does some drills, and he's got plenty of support. Come on, Pat. And not just because Patrick has special needs either. It's because he's on this team. What do you like best about football? Huh? Hit hard, yeah. You're hitting hard? Yeah. Do you like to hit hard? Yeah. He'll tap me on the shoulder once in a while. I want to get a chance to carry the ball or catch the ball. But we always go, all right, Pat, your time's coming. You know. But this story is not about Patrick's time at practice. It's about playing. My only reservation would be that he wasn't going to get in a game. That was my only reservation. Pat's right dad team. had seen his son on the field before in youth football for a few plays each game. But this was varsity, the big boys. And Pat normally just stands on the sidelines. But last month, the Panthers had a huge lead, and the coaches decided, let's put him in. A teammate even made sure Patrick was in the right spot. Now, if you're thinking Pat caught a pass or ran for a touchdown, he did not. In fact, he barely broke a sweat. Never seen somebody so excited, you know, to get in the game for a couple plays. The action went away from him, but it was still real. And even though it wasn't one of those situations that was planned or orchestrated, that doesn't make it any less remarkable. East Pensboro has adopted this player with special needs, but a funny thing has happened. The Panthers have discovered they need Patrick. I think they, they, they take pride in being a part of his life now, you know, that he was on their team and that, that you know, they, they accepted his role and uh, it actually made us better. Patrick may walk to this practice by himself, but he should know there's a whole team behind him. Patrick was born with a very rare genetic disorder called 4-hydroxybutyric acidura. Again, doctors believed he wouldn't walk or talk. And now, well, now his family has a picture of him in a varsity football uniform. Jason Bristol, CBS 21 News. That is great. Inspiring it, story for all of us. And it speaks to the integrity of the whole team. Yeah, I mean, really They're amazing guys. Amazing kid.